A judge announced on Tuesday that Donald Trump will go on trial in New York on March 25, 2024. This means that while his campaign for the Republican nomination in 2024 is in full gear, the former U.S. president will be in court. Trump, who is accused of fabricating financial documents to hide a hush money payment to a porn star, is anticipated to travel around the nation next spring as state stage presidential nominating contests with his competitors. At a hearing where Trump, the leading candidate for the Republican nomination in 2024 and the first former president to face criminal charges, appeared virtually from Florida, Justice Juan Merchant of Manhattan State Court announced the date. Merchin also informed Trump of limitations on his right to speak openly about specific evidence provided by prosecutors. In Merchin's courtroom, images of Trump and his attorney Todd Blanche sat in front of American flags were displayed on at least four televisions. Trump has entered a not-guilty plea to 34 charges. After the hearing, Trump claimed that his rights to free expression had been abused in a post on his Truth social platform. In the article, Trump claimed that they forced upon us a trial date of March 25, right in the middle of the primary season. It is referred to as election interference. Trump allegedly tried to hide payments made to his then-attorney Michael Cohen for a $130,000 payment made to Daniels, whose actual name is Stephanie Clifford, according to New York authorities. Before the 2016 election, Cohen claims he paid her to keep quiet about an alleged sexual encounter with Trump, which Trump disputes, in return for her silence. Trump said nothing further during the hearing other than to inform the judge that he had a copy of the injunction from May prohibiting him from discussing specific material with media organizations or on social media. Trump, according to Blanche, was worried that the injunction infringed on his First Amendment rights to free expression. However, he said that he had informed his client that Merchin had no intention of obstructing his speech and that the limitation was not a gag order that would prevent him from discussing the matter in public at all. Merchin said that he did not want to limit Trump's capacity to campaign and that Trump is certainly free to deny the charges, he is free to defend himself against the charges. Trump might be found in contempt of court if he disobeys the limits, the judge stated on Tuesday. The limitations on Trump apply to witness statements, grand jury transcripts, and other records that prosecutors must provide to the defense in order for them to prepare for the trial. The injunction, according to prosecutors, was necessary due to Trump's history of assaults on social media and the possibility of witness harassment.